Here we have a green mini moto. That's the Finnish running a 48cc engine. It's got a set of fairings with it in a reasonably good condition. But I've noticed there is a crack. I don't know if it'll pick that up there and there, but as we're going to be painting it, that doesn't really matter as such. It's got a new tank which costs tenner. That's, I haven't done nothing else, I haven't even looked at it. It does run, but the carb uh, needs to be building and cleaning out because it must have stale fuel in it or, or blockage because it only runs on full throttle. As soon as it's an idle, it just cuts out. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting little build. I believe we're going to put in a, a race engine, a little miniature race engine. I wanted to be able to take my weight at like a good little speed. I'm 12 and a half stone, so we've got to make that work. Uh, wheels, I think we should go different colour, maybe paint with tyres, uh, tighten everything up, give it a little check. Um, obviously it's two strokes so the oil goes in with the fuel. Put maybe a cover up for the exhaust. going to be an interesting build, something different. There's a little pull start, it uh, weighs absolutely nothing. It's, um, yeah, it's not a bad little, it's not made very well. But I think we can change that. And there's an absolutely poor welding. Must be from Taiwan or wherever this rubbish comes from. I'll put that up. Bits aren't even bloody welded properly. But yeah, it uh, seems to be in decent condition for a price of, uh, I think it was 60 quid all in and that's including fuel to go and pick it up yeah we'll uh, crack on with it and uh, see where we get to So this is with a carb off. All it is has got one tube for the uh, filter into the carb. So straight from your tank, straight into the carb, your little choke on it. As you turn the engine over, sucks in the air and as a vacuum will suck the fuel through. But uh, we'll uh, clean this down and put all the focus on. Well, we'll take this, it looks fairly clean to be fair. <coughs> but we'll um, strip it down, give it a little blowout, clean it, put the idle screws, screw back in. And uh, hopefully we shouldn't have to replace any parts on it, as it shouldn't be that much of use and abuse out of four. It's just been needs cleaning and the little strip down will sort it out. Brass it on. So what we'll pretty much do is I'll rebuild this, fit it, see if it runs, have a little test drive on it, maybe get some times of how fast or and uh, the time it takes to get from one line to another, and then um, get another engine and fit the race engine in it and see if it's actually any different. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, yeah, I'll strip, carry on stripping, uh, well no, I won't strip anything down, build a car back up and then test it, if it all works alright, then we'll strip it down again, paint the wheels, uh, just handle bars, make some adjustments, just the carb uh, throttle cable, actually no, we won't even have to do that because we should have another carb on it, and do some little uh, little adjustments, and uh, yeah, we should be sound, crack on with this, and uh, yeah, see you in the next step. So this is the carb. We got which we've uh, we cleaned out, stripped down, cleaned it, and we built, put it back together, and then set the idle screw to the basic setting. Um, the procedure doing that is quite straightforward. The link is in my description if you want to know how to do it, like as basic as it can be. So hopefully everybody should have to follow it. Any comments, any questions you're unsure about, drop me a message, and I'll uh, get back to you if I can. Should do really. And um, yeah, I'll turn this camera around up here, and then we'll fit it. So as you see on the slider, there is a locating pin which will slide into, which will guide the needle into the carb. If you try and do it on the opposite side, it won't fit in and you might break it. But so be careful when you slide it in. If you find it's hard to slide into the carb, you can tight, um, adjust this so it goes inside, so it takes the pressure off the cable, so it's a bit more flimsy for it to get into the hole. But as you see, the uh, the guide pin's there, and that will just slide in. 
in with the carb needle into the carb. I get it from the other angle so you can see it going through the hole. The slider should actually slide all the way down into it. If it's still staying at the top, then you know the pin's not gone through the hole. So you shouldn't really be any pressure on the top. So you, when you screw it in, it should be able to screw in quite easy without trying to fight it in. So these tanks are mega close to the, uh, there's about an inch gap from touching that, same from back. So ideally we could do a plate underneath of some sort or some heat, heat wrap or exhaust. So yeah, that's uh, not the best thing. I did take responsibility for no accidents or silliness done on these bikes. So yeah, we'll put some fuel in and uh, we'll turn it over. So we're both in, in and the carb in, my adjustment is screwed all the way in my carb idle screw and then screwed out free. That sounds sweet, it sounds like this. So now if you want to get the play out, as the throttle will have a little play in it, a bit of play and just to get that play out. You just screw the end of the cable back out a little bit. You might change the tone. If it's changing the tone of the engine, then you're screwing it too much. All you want to do is keep the tone it's the same and just take the tension out the cable by unscrewing it. That's it. Um, that's much for the end of this um, episode one, and uh, we'll get back to it in episode two.